Okay, so I'm going to explain a odd occurrence that I've been noticing with this VEX microcontroller. So, I'm going to zoom out a bit here. So you can see the whole robot and what's going on. Okay, so the things of note are this potentiometer right here and the LEDs here and here. They're both programmed to fire at the same time, so it shouldn't make too much of a difference which one you look at. So, I'm also running the program in debug mode on my computer just off the screen. I'll tell you what the LED should be displaying according to the programming environment and then you can see for yourself what they are displaying. Okay, according to the programming environment the LEDs are on. Also according to the programming environment the encoders on the wheels are reading zero. Notice the LEDs turn on when I move the robot. When I lower the robot back down, they're off again. I spin the wheel and the um, encoder counts, let's say I just go back and forth like this. The encoder counts are not changing right now. Okay, The LED is still supposed to be on. I lift the arm and the LEDs come on. See? Look at this. Arm wiggles, the LED turns on and off. Now, when I programmatically turn off the LED, there's still actually, I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but there is still actually a very tiny glow in the LED. I turn it back on, lower the arm, goes off, raise the arm, it comes back on. Notice, the potentiometer up here is measuring the angle of the arm. I'll now read you the potentiometer values. It's floating around 110 to 90, or 90 to 110. I lift it up. It's at 1500 right now. Did you see me lift it? I didn't think so. It's just a tiny little bit. So, 120 right now, 1500. And back to 120. Okay, I just downloaded the newest version of the Master firmware and the Robot C firmware. When this potentiometer is reading the lower values, the LEDs are off. When they're reading the higher, like 1500 values, the LEDs are on. The further up I go with the arm, the higher the, up, the potentiometer readings. It's now at 3000. But then I lower it all the way down, and it goes to 100. And again, that right there is 1500. I'm using Robot C version 3.05, and this is a VEX Cortex microcontroller. So, hopefully, this shows you a little bit of the problems I'm experiencing.